Okay, so now we're going to talk about surface area of prisms. And we are going to use uh, rectangular and triangular prisms once again. So, when we think about the surface area, we are talking about all the areas of the surfaces of a three-dimensional figure. So think about if you were going to wrap a present, if you wanted to use a, just exactly the amount of paper that you would need, what would be your surface area? All right, so you often see, you hear them called nets, and it's basically they have taken all sides and laid them out flat. But here we are given just our figure. So the formula for surface area, again, you will be given all of these formulas, so no need to panic, equals 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height. Okay, now let's go and explain these parts. So if I look here, this is the front of my box, okay? And this back here is the back of my box. Those are the same, okay? Those are the same shape, same size, they are congruent. Now then I have two ends, okay? Those are congruent. If not, your box is gonna be pretty lopsided. And then lastly, I have the top and the bottom. So essentially what this formula is telling you is to find the area of uh, front and back and back plus the area plus the area of both sides plus the area of top and bottom. All right, so we can do that just by labeling our length, width, and height. So let's go through here and let's just go ahead and give uh, uh, seven our length, 12 our width, and six our height. So now I can just go and plug it in. All right, uh, actually, yes. So my length and width, uh, area front and back, so that would be two times seven times 12, and I'm multiplying it by two because there's two of them, front and back. Then I have two times my height and my length, actually that's going to be the area, this is actually going to be finding this area down here, length and height, I'm sorry, no, it will be finding my areas of my ends, length and height. So my length is 7 and 6, okay, and then now I have my area of the top and bottom, which is width times height, so 2 times width times, whoops, I'm sorry, width, which is 12 times the height, which is 6. Okay, so now we see that all of our numbers are plugged in. So let's do our calculations. Okay, so I've already done all the calculations for us, so let's just talk through this calculation. I plugged in my numbers, the length width, length height, width, width height, so I got 2 times 84, 2 times 42, 2 times 72, and I add all those together. So I get 168, 84, 144. So if I add those together, I get a total surface area of 396 centimeters. Now it has area in the title, so it means it should be square centimeters. Okay, square centimeters. So that is your surface area for prisms. Again, you're just finding all of the, you're finding the area at the top and the bottom, side to side, front and back, and you're adding them all together. So if I took a box and I split it into six pieces, what is the area of each of those, or, or the total amount of pieces, right, if I have put them all together? 